Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about upgrading a QNAP TS-453BE to 16 gigabytes of RAM. So I've done a couple of other videos on this system. I'll put a link in the description to my QNAP playlist. I'll also put a link in the description to the hardware I'm using on Amazon. And if you use those links, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So what I have is a QNAP TS-453BE. And if I go on the status page here, I see it has a Intel Celeron J3455 processor. And it comes with two gigabytes of RAM, the model I bought does. So I've also done, I've done a previous video on this uh, Synology device. It's a DS918. It also has an Intel J3455 uh, processor. And I've installed 16 gigabytes of RAM in there. And this seems kind of controversial to people because if you go to Intel's spec sheet on this processor, the J3455, and you scroll down here, you see it says the max memory is 8 gigabytes. But I did find an ASRock system that has um, the same processor, and it says that it supports 16 gig of RAM. So um, I've been running this for, I think, almost two years now in my Synology, and it works. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to swap the memory out of the Synology and try it in the QNAP and see if this works with 16 gig of RAM. So let's switch over to my bench. Okay, so I have both NAS devices here. First thing I'm going to do is remove the hard drives from them. It's funny, they look very similar at this point. So the memory on these, on the Synology is here. On the QNAP is here. So what I want to do is pull on both sides of this. I want to just clip it. I'll press there and I'll pull back on here. May have to do it more than once. And then the memory module should pop up. So I want to grip it by the edges. Okay, so here's the memory module. I'll do the same thing over here. And this will go label down and just line up the notch. Okay, it clipped in place. I'll do the second one. So when I press this in, a lot of times I like to wiggle it up and down just a little bit to make sure it's seated. Then I'll press it in place. Now I'll replace the hard drives and check and see if it's recognizing all 16 gigabytes. Okay, I have the memory swapped out. I'll go up to the little magnifying glass. I'll type system status. And now we're showing 16 gigabytes of RAM. So this took quite a while to boot up, and that's not unsurprising. When you put 16 gigs of RAM in, it can take a while because it does like a memory check at the beginning, and you have eight times more RAM than it had before. So uh, that can take a while to start up, but typically you start this up and just leave it up all the time. So I'll put a link in the description to the exact RAM I'm using, and that's my affiliate link. If you use that link, it helps me out a little bit. It doesn't cost you anything extra. So one thing that's worth mentioning is that um, QNAP says this supports eight gig of RAM, uh, if you put 16 gig of RAM in, it's probably going to void your warranty. And then the next question is, why would you put 16 gig of RAM in? Well, if you're doing like virtualization or something, and you have multiple virtual machines, you might want to just give each virtual machine, say, 4 gig of RAM or whatever. Um, it gives you more to play with. And RAM is pretty cheap these days, too. So you may say, um, you know, do I want to have 8 gig or 16 gig? Well, it's not that much more just to put 16 gig in. And then you don't really have to think about, should I have bought that other you know, 8 gig of RAM. You just do it. And um, if you run more applications, you run the surveillance station, um, file sharing, backup, you name it. You run all of these things at the same time. It's nice if your machine's not starved for RAM. So 16 gigabytes is probably overkill. But um, like I said, it's cheap. So, so that's all for this video. If you have any questions about this, please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.